I'll just go try and grab one. If I get nailed, I get nailed. I'm gonna just try and, how funny are we? Oh my God. Whoa! Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm really excited because today we are gonna get some new monitor lizards that are gonna live in this enclosure, which was of course where the blue iguanas live, but we are now gonna put some monitor lizards in here. And I'm really, really excited about this, but there's a couple of things I wanna just go over and check to make sure that these guys can't really hide too well from me. Um, of course, we've got the cave in here, which is pretty deep. Uh, it's got a heater in it. We've got all the soil. We've got areas that I know for a fact that if we dig down, see, it's a paver. They can't dig out because we've got pavers lining this whole area. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's shout out goes to longtime supporter, Ross Parnagian. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. But I just wanna make sure that I do my due diligence and double check everything because it's been a little while. And look at it, more pavers right there, no problem. We got rock and stuff. So they can't really dig too deep. Um, of course, I'm more concerned about them burrowing out of this enclosure. I do not want any issues. Now there is cement that goes down, but these guys can burrow pretty well. So we wanna make sure that we retrofit everything. Again, here's some, oh, look at this little worms and stuff for those guys, awesome. But you know, again, that's solid right in there. There's a rock there, but this is good. This is all good stuff. So um, what we're doing today is we're checking. We're making sure that the critters are going to be safe and happy in this new awesome enclosure for them. So we've got places for them to hide, but I do see that we do have some crevices between these slate rocks, okay? And I'm probably gonna get gap filling foam. And we're gonna go ahead and fill in some of these gaps because I don't want those lizards to kind of get away to a place where I can't reach them. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do all that today in this episode, get it ready. And then we are going to get the lizards and bring them in. They're currently in my buddy Jerry's house, so we'll probably head on over there, get the lizards, bring them back, and uh, put them in this enclosure. I might do a little something, uh, maybe another shelf, just to add some more spacing for them. Uh, all of this is secure. You wanna make sure all of this is secure. Uh, the blue iguanas never got out, but hey, monitors, a little bit sneakier, so we'll keep an eye on. Now, I know for a fact they're gonna crawl behind here, but that doesn't worry me too much. Um, yeah, they will most likely crawl behind these, which is what it is, but how am I gonna get them out if I need to? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, they're kind of large now. I have to see how big they are. I haven't seen them actually in quite a while. So um, yeah, that's what I gotta do. We gotta check them out, make sure everything's good. But um, if I had to, I could bust it. Well, yeah, these pull off pretty darn easily. They're just stapled in. I mean, I just pulled this one off for crying out canaries. No problem. It was just so that it didn't look ugly. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing today, guys. So uh, here we go.
Okay, people, here it is. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. We did a few modifications. Uh, the number one thing we did was I used the gap foam from Aquascape. Uh, I did wind up getting a bunch of theirs, and uh, I went ahead and used that and put it over some of the, uh, you know, home supply store brand. Uh, I like the black stuff better, it blends in. It's also made to really fill in crevices for waterfalls and stuff. So I've locked all of the little areas that I think maybe these guys can probe into. Okay, this stuff hardens up pretty quick. Uh, it cures really quickly. Uh, we've got um, a couple of ferns I put in here. Um, I didn't want to chainsaw any of the uh, plants or trees around my yard. So I had some nice uh, post and I just went ahead and I took a large screw and anchored it into the existing uh, structure that we have here. So these lizards are riparian. They live near uh, streams and uh, wooded areas uh, in Australia. So basically these guys are gonna really uh, climb, they're gonna dig, they're gonna burrow in. We've shortened the tunnel so I could reach in there easily. We've got the heat mat in there for the winter. Um, I can block this if I want to or remove the animals if I need to, if it gets way too cold. Our Aquascape fake logs, very good stuff. Fluker cor uh, cork bark hides. We also use the Fluker reptobark, which is very good stuff. I kind of spattered it all over the place. And down in here, guys, you'll notice we have the uh, flagstone, we have that limestone rather, slate, uh, cut limestone so these guys aren't going to be able to dig out um i'm sure they're going to find someplace i missed but i tried to be as thorough as possible uh filling in all these little crevices in the side project or the side effect of filling it in is it really locks in the slate so these guys can't move it and potentially hurt themselves so all in all pretty happy these ferns are going to really take over this kind of plateau that i made up top so they can climb they can bask they can hide in different spots here i want to i want them to hide in here now remember these guys are going to get so large they aren't going to fit in these things and they may even be that large now i just haven't seen them in a couple of months so we're going to uh clean up i'm going to go ahead and get lunch with jerry and then after lunch we're going to grab those argus monitors at his house catch up with him and then come on back here and put them in their new habitat. I'm really, really excited. Uh, I can walk in here. I don't have the branches uh, hindering me to walk. They'll be able to live in here for a few years. They're gonna be able to grow up in here nicely. It's still a very large uh, habitat uh, for them. So um, pretty good, pretty good stuff. Uh, so we got water, okay, in our Fluker water bowl. And um, yeah, the best part is, is I've got double doors here. So I can shut this door. Okay, shut the outside door, and I really am not concerned about them getting out. So uh, that's all good news. So right now, cleaned up, lunch, then we'll catch up with each other at Jerry's, uh, which will be a little while for me, but right after this edit, for you. Back, back from lunch, kids, and uh, you know, shout out to Guacamole's Mexican restaurant there in Jupiter Farms. Good spot, go check it out. Um, Jerry, say hello to everyone, it's been a while. Hello. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, we, I haven't seen these Argus monitors in a while, and i um, super stoked because they're huge. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. Look, they barely fit inside their houses now and we gotta be careful obviously when we get these look at this one over there we got to uh sex them not really he says that uh jerry thinks that he can tell the difference at the size so we'll try and get one male one female because it was 2.2 which is really really awesome so um you yeah, know this is really cool this was a gift from a viewer um and uh so stoked on these guys well, i want jerry to grab them because i have the camera and we don't want anyone to get get loose um but i'm excited man look at this look at, look at, oh my god he's these guys are freaking lunatics i'm glad i decided to put them where i'm putting them because if this one's chasing like just going for it already i'd be scared to open this damn door yes <laughs> <laughs> and with that, it's, he agrees. It's tricky to get the food in there. Oh my gosh, they're just so aggro. I mean, what do you say? How do you want to do it? Just go for it, I well, guess. Yeah, I know. It's almost like we need to see all four of them at the same time. Although, that's going to be difficult to do. Look at this, attacking the camera. Because it looks like there's two females and two males. In there. All right. So we need to grab them all up. and. There's a significant size difference. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just go ahead and put the camera down here and try and get a nice wide shot and just, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep my hands on a deck in case 
<laughs> Holy smokes, dude. How do you want to do it? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, well then, let's just go for it. <laughs> There's no better, I'll just go try and grab one. If I get nailed, I get nailed. I'm gonna just try and, how funny are we? Um, <laughs> everyone's brave until it's the moment of these um, guys. I mean, I love gloves because you can grab them lightly and it doesn't yeah. matter if they bite because. Oh my God. Whoa, oh Jesus. <laughs> he goes after the camera. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, I could just. Just, just grab them. Just softly put my yeah. hands in there. You got them? Uh, so there's oh, a male. Oh, look at the tripod. So there's a clear male oh right Oh my there. gosh, yes. Absolutely. Big size difference. That is awesome. Wow. Okay, we got to grab one of those guys. Look, I, I think it's male and female right there. I'm thinking. Holy smokes, they're so cool with that tripoding. Um, all right. We got the other one over here. We got these two over there's here. There's still one right there hiding. Okay. All right, let me just put this. So that looks like a female. So is that the other male that's it's still probably, on the log? That's probably the case. Okay. Um, are you a lefty or a righty? What hand are you gonna go with? Put two of them out. I'm probably gonna have to go in with both hands. All right, dude. Let's see what you got, Jerry. There's one. All right. We gotta get that other guy. Here, I'll. I'll oh, you're gonna put her in. All right. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. There's one. Jerry, you gotta grab this other one. Oh boy. Oh brother. You got it, dude. This is my favorite one. Is it? I don't wanna take your favorite one. All right, well, here we go. Pretty, pretty cool. Now we gotta be careful here. She's got himself down here. All right, well, there they are. Good deal. Let's make sure we lock that up. There are still two in there, and I'm not far. If it turns out I got the two wrong ones, we can well, always swap. I wouldn't swap mind them. lifting the log and just verifying. Okay. While we're here, let's do it. I mean, we can see. Just keep some pressure. Yeah, that's definitely looking like a female, but let's see what's going on with this one. No, no, that's one of the smaller ones. Is it really? Yeah. Huh. I wonder if these are the two males because they were both pretty aggressive. See what that one's doing in there. Mm. Mm. Pretty big animal. Definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah, look, like I said, I don't live far away. If it turns out I got the two males, we just swap one of them out. And that's fine. Cool. Very, very cool, man. Look at these guys, they're gonna be happy in their new home, that's for sure. I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think the uh, enclosure is gonna be good for them or what? I think they have plenty of room. They're gonna be able to climb. And uh, I can't wait to just get home and get these guys in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, see you guys at home. Later. All right, we are back at the camp. Oh man, I hate to, uh, I hate to break you guys up, but I've gotta get in there. Um, I love brown and holes. And although I want more of them in my life, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to stop this right now. Guys, can you please, can you please? Maybe if I, gen all right, thank you, thank you. Well, what are you gonna do? There's uh, an old love happening. Okay, anyway, we're moving along. We're bringing these two in here, like so. And then I'm gonna shut my safety door. Now it is gonna be a little tricky because not a lot of room in this area, but I think we'll manage. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, not a problem. Look at how nice that looks. It's got everything these juvenile Argus monitors are going to want. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, let's get in there and uh, we'll shut it. And uh, look at that, it's gonna be so cool. These guys love to dig. Uh, so they do have an area, they'll dig by those ferns if they want. Um, which is fine. They're going to have places to climb. They love to climb. Uh, we've got fresh water. Um, but these guys are found in New Guinea and also in Australia. And they're very intelligent monitor lizards, as all monitors are very intelligent. But these guys are interesting because of their penchant for running. And then they also do their little tripoding, which we saw earlier. Let's just get them going. Oh, oh God, they regurged. They went and regurged their food. Hi. How you guys doing? Are you going to be angry? Oh yeah, you're going to be angry. 
I gotta I gotta get used to picking these guys up without getting attacked and whipped. Let's say I just want to gently I don't know. Well, there's the female. She's a little bit more aggro. Alright guys. I don't want to get nailed. But let's be gentle. Be gentle. Oh, such whippers. Such little whipper snappers. It seems like it's a lot of bluffing. There you go. There you go. There you go. Go ahead. Look where you are. Look where you are, little lady. There you go. That's nice. Go ahead. They are really cool. They have interesting faces. Uh, almost bird-like. And a lot of people do um, a lot of research with these guys because of their intelligence. Um, just a really awesome species that I've always loved. Uh, medium size. They get about five foot long. And uh, they can kind of live in a variety of different habitats. They live in savannas, they'll live near rivers, they'll live uh, in quite a few different places, um, forest areas and so on. There you go, go on. Don't be scared, don't be scared, don't be scared. There you go. Now, of course, you're probably gonna run right into that little uh, cave, but such cool lizards, man, uh, super fun. So I can get in this enclosure, I could sit with them. And what I like is I do like the fact that they're large enough that I don't think they're really gonna be able to fit into some of the crevices that I was worried about. And uh, yeah, they're just gonna start exploring. I can plug up that hole in the winter and keep that heater on, keep them at a nice temperature when it's cool out here. So let's let her do her thing. We're gonna call her her. I don't know if that's in case. Just take it easy. Just, just take it easy. Just take it easy. I'm gonna lift you up. I might get bit, but it's worth it. It's worth it, little one. It's, it's, it's okay. There you go. Let's put you up, 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 right up there. Come here. Oh, there you go. You go down there then. I got a bunch of salmon on you. Yucky. Yucky. Let's get this out of here. Where are you gonna go? Look at this. You got a nice new house. You're gonna love it. Again, looking for a place to hide immediately. That's what they do. Let's see. Oh, now I smell delightful. Good grief. They look pretty good. I'm just gonna sit in here for a little while and relax and just see what they do while I chat with you guys. Look at that. So they do have a nice spot to hang out in. And they're gonna get used to their new house, man. Very, very cool lizards. You see, they didn't really try to bite me. They just kind of bluff a lot. But um, I really think they're gonna be very happy in here. And they'll be able to stay in here, like I said, for quite some time because uh, they do have plenty of growing to do. And this will allow them uh, ample opportunity to grow up and move around and get exercise and enrichment and all that. And as you can see, here's all the foam that I pushed. Okay, it's locked all these in together. Look at that. It's filled up the voids. So I'm pretty happy about that. And the other cool thing is they're large enough to start eating the chicks that I feed all the other monitors. So very, very... Um, cool setup and easy for me to care for and of course these guys are going to get more and more used to me and you guys are going to see them uh really get used to me uh you know i i really don't have a, any process for taming an animal i just allow the animal to come to me i spend time in the enclosure i'm just going to hang out and i think that's the best way is giving them the largest possible enclosure you can keep them in so that they feel secure um, and here I am just hanging out in this enclosure, as you can see, and, uh, you know, they're still able to feel like I'm not right on top of them. So this is good. Very, very good stuff here. I am super happy that we finally got these animals in, uh, to the camp.
All right, everyone, so there you have it. Argus monitors in their new home. Uh, beautiful lizard. Really excited to be uh, caring for them here at the camp and looking forward to seeing these guys grow up and do their thing and become the personalities I know they're gonna become. And looking forward to uh, you guys joining me for this uh, really cool experience of raising up these amazing, beautiful lizards and uh, highly intelligent. I love my monitors. Uh, they're just so fantastic. So I think we did a good job today. What do you guys think? Do you like what we did? We just kind of switched a few things around, got it dialed in, and uh, this should be a really cool place to rear these two. All right, I'm gonna let them settle in right now. We'll go ahead and uh, leave you with, uh, well, some monitors. See you guys soon, bye.